My name is Timothy G, and I'm going to talk about Ingmar Bergman's film The Seventh Seal. This was important in my life in that it came at just the time that I was completing my national service, when it be was the talk of the town during the Cannes Festival in 1957. Uh, so I came out of the army all agog to see this film. It just so happened that uh, the night I was released from the army I spent in Preston and there I found in one of the back streets a cinema showing I think the only Bergman directed film that had previously been released in Britain, um, uh, Sawdust and Tinsel. And I saw this and was duly impressed and therefore my keenness to see The Seventh Seal uh, grew by leaps and bounds. It was probably some, it opened in the autumn of uh, 1957 and I probably saw it in the early part of 58 and uh, by that time I was probably already converted uh, on the strength of what I had read and the discussions that had taken part about the film. It is difficult to say that uh, it, it is a characteristic Bergman film because his uh, output was so varied uh, and this one is unusual in that there is not a major female protagonist. Uh, it is also not unique but rare in his work in having uh, a setting in the medieval period um, because uh, Max von Sydow is a knight returning from the Crusades uh, when he meets Death, uh, who he manages to persuade to play a game of chess, uh, which, if Max von Sydow wins, um, uh, will release him from the threat of death. Uh, so it is about uh, mortality, uh, perhaps about religion, uh, because there are figures called Joseph and Mary who figure in it. Uh, it is also about the period because you see lepers uh, and uh, he has uh, a castle uh, and uh, it, it remains a fascinating film I think even uh, 50 years after uh, it was uh, first burst upon the scene. It was the beginning of a long collaboration with Max von Sydow in the leading roles uh, and uh, it was towards the end of his uh, first major cameraman, Gunnar Fischer, uh, before he started working with um, uh, Sven Nyqvist, who uh, did all his later films. Uh, and, and I've just looked it up and in fact Gunnar Fischer survived both Sven Nyqvist and Ingmar Bergman and died aged 100 in 1911. So now let's have a look at uh, The Seventh Seal.